All right, guys. So I just recently visited my grandpa, um, and I really went over there just to learn about investing and the simple fundamentals of how to um, invest into companies and other investments. But, um, you know, being a pastor that he is, he really shared a lot of knowledge um, about life. And, you know, I want to relay some of the messages that I learned from him um, that, that day that I visited. And those three um, main things that he talked about were the mind, body, and soul. And he related those, those, those topics into three legs. So if you have three legs and one goes out, um, it's obvious that things are not going to go as planned. You know, something's going to fall. And, you know, that's really what he kind of talked about. And he talked about, you know, first off, you got to have your, you know, your, your soul, your spirit. Excuse me, have your spirit. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to be spiritual with your God. You know, whatever God you worship, you know, make that connection. Um, you know, he talked about if, if you think everything that's came into your life um, all by yourself, you're a fool. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you attracted a lot of things um, and you've got to where you are because of you. But you have to realize that um, that higher being um, and Jesus Christ and God himself has brought you many things. And if you don't obviously make the connection, you're going to be lost in life. You know, um, when you get into certain you know opportunities or, or situations, you're going to be confused. You're going to be looking for answers of why, um, why you or why it hasn't worked out. But God is that that spirit. Um, and like I said, that higher being that can that can show you the way, give you that direction, that guidance. Um, to get to where you want to get in life. So that was the number one thing he talked about, having that one leg of your spiritual side. The second was, you know, having that mind. And really in the sense of um, having that willing willingness to learn and get better and grow. Um, my grandpa's 73 years old and he doesn't know it all. And he told me that. Um, you know, he as I walked in, he had a seminar um, on, uh, you know, a spiritual seminar going and he had his Sudoku puzzles. He had his Bible. He had other, um, you know, other Bible studies in front of him. Why? Because he's always trying to grow. He's always trying to learn um, and develop himself. Because he doesn't know it all, like I said. Um, and, and you have to understand that you have to be willing to learn um, and grow yourself and become better um, and, and do better and do more. And that's what he's really talking about. About your mind is um, always developing new ideas. Always, always developing your mind and, and, and you know trying to grasp new ideas. Um, to share with people and also um, develop into your daily habits. And the last leg that he was talking about was really your body. And, you know, just simply talking about your body in the sense that it's your car, it's your engine. Um, it's that one thing that you have, we all have, that, you know, if you don't take care of it, you, you're probably going to pass away. Um, so really he was talking about working out or, or really kind of being disciplined um, in what you're doing in your daily habits and taking care of your body. Make sure you're getting right, uh, um, enough sleep. Make sure you're eating right. And said also take care of your body um, exercising. Because if you don't have your body um, in, in a functional state, um, it's probably not going to function correctly either. So um, that was really his, you know, his three steps or his three philosophies um, in life. Um, it is your mind, your body, and soul. And if you can um, obviously grasp those things in your life, um, you know, I think you're going to see results. Whether it's big or small, um, it's maybe probably it's up to you. But you're still going to see results regardless. And then also, lastly, guys, I do want you know, let you guys know that I recently just, um, you know, published my first uh, blog at Elkhart Truth um, in my area. So if you get a chance, definitely check that out on their website. And uh, I'll definitely be back soon with uh, other topics that I'm working on right now. I have a few that I'm trying to pick from. But I'll definitely be sharing more knowledge, more videos um, for you guys here within the next couple of days. So with that, have a great day.